When it comes to transmitting SDIs, experts say oral sex is less risky compared to intercourse sex. But what do recent statistics tell us? Let's get into it. Oral sex, once known to be taboo, has become very common these days. A CDC survey conducted as far back as 2007 to 2010 reported that 85% of American girls aged between 20 to 24 have had any type of oral sex in their lifetime. 82% of boys within that same age range have also had any type of oral sex. A more recent survey even estimates this figure to the 90s. This is alarming because commonality is associated with more transmissions and more transmission means much danger. A lot of people don't use any form of protection because they think oral sex is a safer way to go. The majority cannot imagine themselves rubbing their tongue around plastic for both protection and pleasure. Results from a 2017 YouGov survey reported that while 14% of people say they've never used a condom for intercourse sex, a whopping 34% say they've never used a condom for oral sex. Take note that this percentage includes those who have never protected themselves in their lifetime. This percentage could have gone way higher if those who have used a condom only once, twice, or thrice were included in that particular count. It will surprise you to know the number of people living with the misconception that oral sex poses little to no risk of STIs. Experts fear more people are now walking with oral sex STIs than we can imagine. Transmissions are rising to peak levels than we think. STIs can take time to show any visible symptoms, so it can be difficult to tell if your partner is free of any infection. Before we continue, please show us some appreciation by hitting the like button. If you find this video educative and cautious, this will make the YouTube algorithm share this video with more people, and as a result, it will help save the lives of many. Play your part now in this life-saving campaign. Allow me to emphasize this before we end. Oral sex has become very common, and you're more likely to get an infection now than you were some a few years back. If 10, unprotected sex was your likelihood of contracting a virus some few years back, then consider the likelihood of being infected now to be having three or four unprotected affairs. I always find it disturbing when some experts tell people oral sex poses less risk of SDI compared to intercourse sex. This makes people less cautious than they should be. I prefer ranking the dangers involved in both types of sex on the same scale. Although, oral sex is less risky than vaginal or anal sex, oral sex is still very far from safe sex. The STDs you can get from vaginal or anal sex can be caught through oral sex. We don't aim to decide the way you should go. But try asking and answering this question when you want to have oral sex. Consider subscribing to learn and improve if you're new to this channel. Because we share educative content on many interesting topics.